Welcome to the Databricks Skill Builder Series. We're glad you're here. Hi, this is Greg. I'm one of the product managers here at Databricks. And today I want to talk to you about a number of tools we've released recently to help you understand your spend in Databricks. The first thing we did as a data company is release data about your spending events in Databricks. This is in the form of our system tables. By navigating in the Catalog Explorer to System Billing, you can see a number of tables which have detailed information about all of your usage events. This is a great way to dive in using any data visualization tool, third-party cost management app, or Databricks tools so you can see what's happening in your Databricks account. Now, we wanted to make it even easier for you, and so we built a default dashboard. If you log into your account console and the usage tab, you'll see this preview for our new cost dashboard. In a few clicks, you can set it up and decide if you want to look at your spend on the entire account or a single workspace. You can then pick a workspace to deploy it in and take a look at your cost trends. Here we have our dashboard showing spend over the past year. Like you'd expect in a BI dashboard, you can change the date ranges, pick what it's grouped by or filter down to different workspaces or change the aggregation period. Here, we're looking at month over month spend by product family, and we can see things like all purpose, SQL, et cetera. Now, one of the common questions customers ask for is the ability to group and split their spend by cost center. Sometimes this is team, project, et cetera. The cost dashboard has a helpful tool to allow you to do so. You can use any of your tag keys that you've set up and see spend on each of the values in that tag key. Here we're looking at a demo account where we've set up a budget key and various values for our teams. Now you can also see how much spend isn't tagged with that key. You can see in this case, only about 2% of my spend is tagged. So I've got a tagging and policy challenge ahead of me to make sure I get full coverage so I can accurately report on our spend. Now, up at the top, you might have seen an anomaly in the spend. Last month, we had some interactive spend that we don't normally have. Let's drill into how we can identify where the spend came from and how we can take action on it. So here, we can see the spend is interactive. This is running on Databricks serverless uh, notebooks. The great thing about Databricks serverless is all the spend events have granular cost attribution down to the user level. So we can actually investigate who kicked off this work that put us over our normal spending patterns. If we scroll down to the bottom of the cost dashboard, we can see we can group things by a number of categories. One of them is run as. So here we're gonna see who ran the various queries that resulted in those costs. So now when we look at last month, we can see this anomalous spend came from a few users. Now we have an email address and someone we can contact to ask if that spend was normal, if it's something we should expect, or if it's a mistake and something we should try to mitigate. Now that we can drill down into our costs on a more granular basis, we can check this periodically to see spend that's happening. But sometimes we don't wanna to have to log in every morning to check on this. We just wanna be alerted if there's something that needs our attention. That's why at Databricks, we've built our new budget alert tool to help you be alerted of things that need your attention. You can set up a budget in just a few clicks, decide how you're gonna filter it, how much you'll set it for, and what email addresses should be alerted if that team goes over spend. You'll then get email alerts that tell you that team is over spend and you should go look into it on the cost dashboard. Now, sometimes you have questions that are harder to answer with the dashboard. And that's where Databricks has brought in the power of AI to help you answer these questions. Using Genie, you can ask cost questions, like is your SQL spend trending up or down in the last months? And Genie will write the SQL to get you the answer and show you how much your spend has been changing by the last couple months. These queries are all based on our cost dashboard and the verified queries we've put in it. 
So as you can see, the combination of system tables data, a default dashboard to visualize costs, AI BI Genie to drill in further, and budget alerts to let you know when something needs your attention, you have a powerful set of tools at your disposal to understand your Databricks costs.